Well guys, after seeing the title of the video, you might think that I have eventually gone mad, but no, I might actually be recommending the RTX 4060 as a good card to use in an upgrade on your old gaming PC. Surprisingly, because I really didn't think I would have been making this recommendation. However, let me give you some context. Now, the RTX 4060 is based on the latest gen from Nvidia. However, it has only eight lanes of Gen 4 PCIe bandwidth. Now, what are these? These are the interface that connects the card to the motherboard. And why this is relevant is all the information that the card has to send to the system passes through that bandwidth. Well, of course, aside from certain applications like strictly rendering, mining, and a few others, but everything passes through that. Now, generally, no cards, aside from the top of the line RTX 3090 or RTX 4090, actually managed to saturate the Gen 3 bandwidth. And now, here's a little thing. Gen 3 X16 is equivalent to Gen 4 X8. So you might be saying, okay, but this is a Gen 4 X8, so it would be perfect as an upgrade. I don't see the issue, right? It's not a powerful card. Well, what happens? Of course, when I say upgrade, I am implying that this card is going on an older system, so a Gen 3 system. Now remember, Gen 3, has actually been around up until not too long ago. The 10th gen of Intel was still Gen 3. Gen 4 was introduced on Intel on the 11th gen and on Ryzen on the Ryzen 3000 series. So not too long ago at all. Now, what made me actually test this out is we have here one of the best CPUs that are Gen 3. And this is an i9-9900KF. Now this CPU, of course, at the time was extremely high-end. So it is more than capable of handling the kind of FPS that a simple RTX 4060 can output. So there should be no issues at all, aside from the bandwidth, because we have seen in the past with other cards from AMD with this kind of configuration, like the RX 6500 XT, that it was truly a disaster. Uh, I think Gamer Nexus did a very big coverage on the thing at the time, and those cars were basically fully unusable to upgrade an older PC. The same can be said for some of the new Intel Arc cars. Using these on a Gen 3 system is just a bad idea. So honestly, I came into this upgrade thinking the RTX 4060 is good, but it has to be used on a newer, lower end system. But Again, they gave it to me to put into this PC, so I just went ahead and slotted this tiny card, which is smaller than my hand with two fans, this Gigabyte OC model, into the PC. And they ran some tests. Now I will just show you Fire Strike with the temperature, etc. But I also played Apex, Warzone, Fortnite, my usual roster of game. And the results are that surprisingly, even though theoretically there should be a difference. In the real game scenarios, I have noticed absolutely no difference between this and a Gen 4 system, because even though there is a throughput bottleneck, the GPU bottleneck is actually bigger, meaning the CPU can still saturate what the GPU can offer, and the throughput is not an actual issue in the real world scenarios. So this is just a quick video and uh, just a very geeky, I guess, video to inform you guys that actually, since those cards are so small and so power efficient, you don't need a good power supply, you don't need a good case, you can put these anywhere. So you can get a 4060 and you can just upgrade any PC. Wait, I'm not recommending you buy a brand new RTX 4060, like this one, as you can see the price was 420 bucks of course bought in a shop with warranty etc but i don't really recommend you buy this brand new what you can do that's smart is if you find a used one for a good price which at the moment i think can be anywhere from 200 to 250 euros well 200 is probably a bit too low let's say 250 to 300 euros if you find it in that range then it's definitely worth the buy. So if you're watching this video in the future, when RTX 4060 is used, will be very cheap. Yes, it's a great idea to just buy one and put it with a 9th gen i9, 10th gen i7, one of these CPUs to make a very good budget gaming PC. So guys, I hope the video was helpful. Please drop a like and a sub if you liked it or if you found it helpful. And hopefully you will stick around on the channel to take a look at all the builds I make, under vaulting tutorials, overclocking tutorials. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.